And there's really neat stuff in this week's auction, folks. This is one of the most unusual pieces we've seen. Snowflake glass. Shells on the back side. I believe it's a Victorian era, see the stick and ball on top. Pharmacist back bar, basically. This would be where the pharmacist stood behind and had a clerk between you and him. These are all stencils from our other building that we found in the basement. Kind of neat. Odds and ends. Neat uh, lollipop scale. The <laughs> chamber seat code. This display cabinet can be used for anything, of course, but we believe that originally a mannequin or skeleton hung for those hooks. Or where there's the outline of the paint on the top there. That's what the uh, consigner thought. That's what we think looking at it. And really, really dig the handles on the back side. Open the doors. Very uh, 1910 look to those. Really great looking handle. Beautiful deal. Entry door. And the finishing looks pretty structurally sound. There's lots of crust on the wall. Chairs there. This is a neat piece. It's actually a stacking piece. It's for the base, the top, and then this section of the dual drawers and the section of the big drawers. This is what the collection of uh, airheads and related items came in mostly. This is four chairs, a little French marble top side table, a bunch of Asian oriental pieces, a couple of circus posters, neat, neat bookcase folks. Beautiful condition, beautiful color. Nice little tapered legs. Very similar to the desk here. It's also a wonderful 1930s piece. You can check out this hardware there. Arts and crafts, you know, late deco, early deco, arts and crafts, is my guess. Finish all of this. Out. It's a true executive's desk. Good looking piece of furniture. A little wicker baby buggy. Oh, here we did plug in this one. Kind of funky little deal there. Maybe I think here a nice little contemporary chair. I really kind of like that mirror. It's newer, but it's just got a really nice strong look to it. The uh, grandfather clock has been running since Wednesday. It's keeping a really good time. It's now Friday afternoon and a few minutes after five. So, big time bookshelf. Some little golden books. Some pictures and mirrors. This is a neat piece. The uh, Typewriter dolly. Wheels great on it, it works all the way around, some other really fixtures. Well, this one's on top. Big stack of old frames. This is kind of cool, the uh, gaming tabletop. Made in 1933. Commercial singer sewing machine, Maytag washing machine, needle the zinc lined milk crates. Cool dust. Some good pictures. Nice little trunk. Some contemporary furniture. Chairs here, the pair of green chairs are Herman Miller. The little rolling piece has been attributed to uh, George Nelson in the past. I don't know if it, uh, if it is or it is not, but I've seen it attributed that way before. No labels on it, the new damage, but uh, kind of a cute little cabinet. With the dance candle holders. The base to our display is a sow scalder flipped upside down. Late zinc. Or steel bottom and wood panels. Just kind of a big base and a scalded sow in. And then on top is the Herschel carved wood. Carousel horse. This will be the featured item on Antiques Roadshow Monday night. Go back into the studio for Pledge Drive and we're going to bring this big bad boy in there and we'll see how close we are to being right on price this time. So on the TV on Monday night. So here Tuesday night. That'll be a lot of fun. New little chrome display rack here. A good old one. Heavy duty. Top floor tapes. Neat piece. Love the day's door floor lamp there. 
you know, adjustable in many ways. Now uh, the hips, pivots, all kinds of cool stuff. Metal table, little iron hooks, the uh, metal drafting chair, some uh, fiberglass luggage, piece of luggage, kind of cool. This table here is uh, all metal. Some pretty cool rollers. Not quite sure what they're exactly there for, but they're pretty neat. Just as the nose. This is like 1918, I think. This spindle. The Nike car deck kind of cool. Neil Johnson and Johnson first aid box. This is cool. Uh, looks like a 1960s laid out drafting table by Rokonex. Rokonex. A few Hollywood posters. Not sure why there's a naked cowboy player in the reflection of the eye of us and Zechariah in there, but uh, kind of interesting. Should early Sean Connery movie, the who. Some good pieces in here. There's the yard line, of course. You can see that easily. There are original watercolors. There's some good Victorian frames. Uh, some loose pieces, so look through that pretty well. And a couple of nice mirrors. I really dig this one with the chairs on top. And that's going to be kind of frame in as well. Some miscellaneous fixtures and frames down there. Some more posters in the back side. This is one extension ladder, but we couldn't even fit it in here together, so we know that they're much more usable this way. And uh, we wouldn't know what anybody actually wanted on this thing, so they all you know, basically become quilt displays, and that's what these are. These are big yellow corner brackets, some totes, and some interesting odds and ends in the paper, and the miscellaneous here. These are two boxes of sheet music. Some of it's handwritten uh, ragtime stuff that's kind of cool. Um, some kind of big there. And some old photographs in here. So, a lot of neat stuff. A little chrome. Oh, that should go up front. Some sterling fenders. I don't think it was a box up front for sure. Look at that right there. Some records. Some jewelry. The carbon piece. There's just a lot of miscellaneous odds and ends. Uh, a good box here. Christmas plates being involved. I think going back to 68. So. That's it for the back. Not a whole lot back here. I'll blow through it real quick, but uh, some cool stuff. They'd be, uh, like I said, like the uh, industrial goodies and the carousel horse and the display cabinets. Nice desk. Great bookcase. Really fun stuff. See you on Tuesday.